Hi Loopers, Melissa here from LovableLoops.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make my pointed witch shoes. They go perfectly with my witch dress, the hat, and the broom. And the pattern for all of these is available for free on my blog. I will link to that below. The materials that you will need, 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, scissors, tapestry needles, stitch markers, and then you will need worsted weight yarn in black, orange, and purple. Okay, the yarn that I use is the um, Studio Classic by Nicole. I purchased this at AC Moore. If you don't live near an AC Moore, I will link to similar colors on Amazon. Um, I particularly like this purple color, so if I can find that a similar shade, I will link to that for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to begin with your black yarn. I have my yarn all tangled up over here. Okay. All right, and you're going to start by chaining 10. So go ahead and create a slip knot. Chain 10. You're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And I do apologize, I know that darker yarn is very hard to see on camera, but I did want to show you guys how to make these shoes. So in that second chain from your hook, you are going to single crochet. And I am going to place a stitch marker on that first stitch there because this can get a little confusing and I think if you do the same thing it'll help you keep track of where your stitches are because you're going to be crocheting in the back of the chain as well. All right. Okay, so now you're going to single crochet in the next seven chains. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so you should have a total of eight single crochet. And in your last chain there, you are going to make two single crochets. Okay. Now you're going to continue on to the other side. So you're actually going to turn your work and you're going to be working in the back, those back loops of the chain, okay? So you're going to place two single crochet into the same space here. So basically, at the end here, you'll end up with four, okay? And now in the next eight chain, back chain spaces, you're going to make single crochets. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. And eight okay so we have our eight stitches two and two and then our next eight stitches so now we are going to join 
Do our first stitch there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to do this on camera and make sure you guys can see. Okay. All right, now for the next round, chain one, you're going to make two single crochet into that same stitch that you joined to. So one, two, and once again, I'm going to place a stitch marker on that first stitch that I made. Okay, so there's two stitches. And now in the next seven, I'm going to just single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. Okay, and now in the next two stitches, you're going to place two stitches into each. Okay, so in this next stitch, I will place two single crochets. So one, and then in that same stitch again, two, and then I'll do the same thing in this stitch, place two single crochet. There's one, and Two, okay, and now going around, I'm going to work backwards. So now I'm going to make start with my two single crochet and two stitches, then my seven single crochet, and then two single crochet in the last one, just like we started with two single crochet in this first stitch, okay? So we're in this next stitch here, two single crochet, so one. Two. In your next stitch, you can do the same thing. One, two. Okay, and now in the next seven stitches, you're going to just single crochet. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and in my last single crochet, I'm going to place two single, or yes, two single crochet. Now, it might look like you have another stitch there, but that's just where your yarn, where you joined it, okay? That's why it's always good to count your stitches. One, two. Okay, and now I'm going to join to that first stitch. Okay, and now for round three, I'm going to chain one, and then once again, I'm going to place two single crochet in that first stitch. So chain one, and in that same stitch that you joined to, one and two. Okay, and then go ahead and put your stitch marker back on that first stitch. Okay, and now you are going to single crochet in the next nine stitches. Okay, so one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, and now in the next three stitches, you're going to place two single crochet into each of those. So one, two, one, two, and then in that 
third stitch one and two and once again we started we're working backwards so this way the pattern that we um, have going this way we do the opposite going back okay so in the next three stitches you'll place two single crochet again okay so one nine stitches you'll place one single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine and then in your last stitch there you'll place two single crochet one and two okay and then go ahead and join all right okay now for round four you're going to chain one and then you're going to place two single crochet in that first stitch again so one, two, put your stitch marker back on that first stitch. And now you're going to single crochet in 12. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, now in the next four stitches you're going to place two single crochet so in this first one here one two so stitch one is done one two stitch number two is done one two stitch number three is done one, two, stitch number four is done. And then once again, we're doing the um, pattern backwards this way. So in the next four stitches again, you're going to place two double crochet. So one, two, stitch number one, done. One, two, stitch number two is done. One, two, stitch number three is done. Normally I would go back and fix that. Looks like my yarn got caught there, but because I'm making this tutorial, I'll just keep going. Then one, two, stitch number four is done. And let me just make sure that that was... Okay. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Okay, now in the next 12 stitches, you're going to place one single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and then in your last 
last stitch, place two single crochet. So one and All right, that was our last round <clears throat> working with the black yarn. You're gonna go ahead and join. Okay, all right, and now you need to get your purple yarn. Okay, so basically we have made the base of the shoe. Um, so now we are going to start working the sides of the shoe, okay? All right, so grab your purple yarn. Okay, you're going to attach it, and we are going to be working in the front loops. And I hope that the purple yarn is a little easier for you to see. Go ahead and attach it. Okay. Okay, and then chain one, and you can tighten this up after. It's always a little loose when you attach a new yarn. All right, and then that same stitch. Oh, you're working in the front loops, okay? So locate that front loop. So you see there's two, the stitch, I'm trying to get the camera to focus on that. You're gonna be working in the front loop, not, not both. So normally you would work into both of them. You're only working into the front one, okay? And what you're going to do is single crochet in 21, okay? So here's number one. I'm gonna tighten that yarn up and I'm going to place my stitch marker on that first stitch. Okay, so that was one, two, and again, for all of these, you are only working in the front loop Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, okay? All right, now, in my next stitch, I am going to single crochet, double crochet, chain three, slip stitch in the third chain from the hook, and then I will work in the next stitch after that, okay? So we're going to do all of that in that next stitch. But first I want to double count or double check and make sure that I have already made 21 single crochet. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. Perfect, okay. And again, you're still working in the front loops. So you're gonna make a single crochet, a double crochet, so you yarn over, insert your hook, pull your yarn through. So now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over again and pull through the last two, okay? That's what you'll have on your hook. Now, from here, you're going to chain three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
to three. This is what's going to create that point at the end of your shoe, okay? So chain three. And now in that third chain from the hook, you're going to slip stitch. So insert your hook, pull your yarn through that, that chain, and then through the loop on your hook, okay? And now in the next stitch front loop, you're going to double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the front loop. And I need to make sure that I have the, have the next um, stitch there. Double crochet. And then single crochet. Okay. And then you're going to continue working around. You'll single crochet in the last 21 stitches and you are still working in the front loops. I think I actually skipped a stitch there. It's so hard to see with this dark yarn, so I'm going to go back and fix that. I, yep, I did. I missed that stitch right there. Okay, so I'm going to fix this. I'm going to double crochet. It's always good to check your work as you're going because it's much easier to undo two stitches than to undo two rounds. Okay, so one double crochet, one single crochet, and now in the next 21 stitches I'll do my single crochet. And again, continue working in the front loops only. That's what's going to help turn the shoe upward. Okay. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Let me double check my counting here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one. Now oh, I don't know how I got off track with that. I'm sorry, but you are single crocheting front loops. Twenty-one there, okay? Now you're going to join. through both loops, okay? We're done working in the front loops. Oh, I've got my purple working yarn here, okay? Get that tail on here, all right. Go ahead and join. Okay, all right, so now for round six, we're just going to single crochet around the shoe. Now when you get up here to where we made the point, we're just going to make two single crochet on each side, okay? All right, go ahead and chain one. And then once you've single crocheted into your first stitch there, I would replace that stitch marker. I should say this just because Ashley loves hearing her name on camera. This 
and my bracelet were she made for me for Mother's Day. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> All right, you're gonna go ahead and single crochet around in through both loops, so just normally, okay? No more front loops. And you should have 23 when you get, oh my gosh, when you get to the um, point. You can't see how many I have here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one. Okay, and then twenty-two. So this is that single crochet, and then you have that double crochet. Okay, so now in that space left, you're going to make two single crochet. That's the space where you had made the chains. And just kind of work into the side. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing. Now that's your single crochet and double crochet on the other side. So don't work into those stitches. You need to make two single crochet up here in this space. Because we want to help define that point. Okay, and then you're going to continue. You should have 23 more single crochet to make. haven't decided if I'm going to do this or not, but I think I might focus on making more costumes um, and tutorials for costumes. I don't know. If you follow me on Instagram or if you are follow me on Facebook, um, you'll have seen the zombie hat that Mark designed. He wants me to make for him. It'll have a hanging eyeball. It's really cool. So I... Um, hope to make a tutorial of that if not of the whole hat at least of um because the hat is fairly straightforward um although I haven't decided how I'll do the brain yet but um I think the hanging eyeball will look really cool <laughs> he's pretty excited about it okay now that is your last stitch there so now you're going to go ahead and join okay now for round seven we are going to single crochet in 19 and then we're going to start um, decreasing our stitches so we'll start single crocheting them together so go ahead and single crochet or chain one first and single crochet 19. Remember your first single crochet goes in that same stitch. And I'm going to attach my stitch marker. Come on. Right, there we go. 
All right, <laughs> so now in, I already did one, so now I have 18 more. So this is number two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, yep, 19, see, I do, I get distracted a lot, <laughs> all right, um, now you're going to single crochet together six times so the next 12 stitches so I'm just going to to keep it myself straight each time I make a decrease I'll count it as one okay so we're going to make six decreases which means you're single crocheting the next two stitches together okay so let's do the first one insert your hook into that first stitch yarn over pull through and then insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. You have just decreased. You turned those two stitches into one. So that is our first. So one done. You're gonna do this five more times. Two. Three, oops, I caught something there. Let me read you that. So I already have three done. Four. <clears throat> And then you're going to single crochet in your last 19 stitches. That's last stitch. Sorry, it gets a little confusing. Um, go ahead and join to your first stitch. That's why I like to use the stitch markers there. All right, and so round seven is complete. Now for round eight, we are going to start by single crocheting together twice. So go ahead and do that. You're going to chain one. Insert your hook into that same stitch that you joined to, and then into the next stitch, and you're going to 
combine those stitches together. So you made your first decrease. You're gonna do that one more time. I designed it this way because you know your foot is not exactly it doesn't go necessarily straight, and I wanted to make sure that it didn't come off the baby's foot. If you are, um, if you have the baby that you're able to check their foot, maybe, I don't know if you would want to maybe make one decrease here or not. I guess it depends. Um, to be on the safe side though, I'm making two decreases for the sake of my pattern. Let's go ahead and make another decrease. Okay. And then you are going to single crochet in 12 stitches. Okay. Once again, we are going to make six decreases. So you're going to single crochet two together six times. And just like last time, after each decrease, I will count one just to keep it straight. So actually, and I want to make sure that I counted the correct amount of stitches. I always like to double check because I do get distracted. So I had my, um, I should have two stitches in the beginning for my two decreases. So one, two, and then after that I should have 12. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Okay, so now I can start making six decreases. One, two, Three, four, I'm trying to check to see if this was the next stitch over there. now you're going to single crochet in 12 and then in the last four you are going to decrease those so one two three four two. okay Okay, you should have four left to make your two decreases. Let's go ahead and single crochet two together. That's one. And then you're going to single crochet two together again. Okay, and then join. Now for round nine, 
you're going to, so we're not making any more decreases back here. We've done enough for that. Um, so for round nine, we're going to single crochet in 15, chain one, make your first double, or excuse me, your first single crochet, and then reattach that stitch marker. Okay, and then continue making your single crochets. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, oops, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Come in and check that. So I didn't make any decreases. So I'm just gonna start counting from the very first stitch that I made. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. Okay, very good. So now you're going to make two decreases, okay? So in the next four stitches, so you're gonna make Wait a minute, what did I do here? I yarned over. No, you're making a single crochet decrease. <laughs> so. I knew I had too many loops on my hook. Okay, there's one decrease. Two. Okay, and now you should have 15 stitches left. Go ahead and double crochet in those last 15 stitches. Most of my patterns are double crochet. I love using double crochet. I rarely use single crochet unless it's for smaller things or for like the embellishments on a hat or the face of a, um, like an animal um, on my hats. So if I've been saying double crochet in place of single crochet, just always follow the directions that are down here. I'll have the um, the instructions for each round written out in text at the bottom of the screen. And at the bottom of the screen on this side is my subscribe button, so don't forget to hit that so that you don't miss any of my tutorials. You'll get an alert when I post a new one. Okay, all right, go ahead and join. Sorry. Okay. All right, and now we have one more round for our shoe, and then we'll begin, oh, sorry, then we'll begin the bow. All right, so go ahead and chain one, single crochet, Reattach your stitch marker, and then we are single crocheting 15. So we already made the first one. If you hear that background noise, it is raining outside today. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not. Okay. And that's my dog. We just moved from one pillow to another pillow. <laughs> he likes to hang out with me when I'm crocheting. He likes to hang out with me all the time. He's so cute.
me count that. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. So in the next two, go ahead and single crochet those two together. I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep going off camera here. Okay, and then go ahead and single crochet in the last 15. And then go ahead and join. You do not need to reattach your stitch marker because you are done. And now we just need to oh now we just need to make our bow. Okay. Pull that through. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are so cute. Now go ahead and cut your purple yarn. Pull it through. Okay set your shoe aside. As you can see, I don't really like weaving in ends. <laughs> That's my least favorite part. That's why this one's not done. But now we're going to go ahead and make a bow for this shoe. Okay? So you're going to need to grab your orange yarn. You are still... Oh, you need to cut the black yarn right here too. Okay. You are still working with your um, 4.5 millimeter hook. Okay? And this is going to be really simple. Okay. Make a slip knot and chain 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Join in the round. Make sure that you don't twist that chain. Now chain one, and we are going to place a single crochet in each chain, and we are going to end up single crocheting around for four rounds, okay? So once again, chain one, and you're going to just make one single crochet to each chain. I'm gonna count real quick. I think I have two more spaces. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. So one more. It's hard to tell sometimes, but that's okay. That's why you can always count. Okay. All right, so I have my 18 single crochet. Now I'm going to join to the top of my first single crochet, and then I'll just continue working in the round for three more rounds. 
All right, so chain one. Go ahead and join. Chain one, begin round three. It really is such a simple way to make a cute little bow. It's so quick. Okay, join. Round three is done. You have one more round to go. Chain one, single crochet around. Remember your first single crochet goes into the same stitch that you joined to. Go ahead and join. And then leave a long tail. Actually, leave a really long tail, okay? Because you are also going to need some of the tail to wrap around, okay? All right, grab your tapestry needle. Oh, wait, make sure you pull through first, okay? So now you're going to be able to see how much of a tail I left. Probably too much, but... Better than not enough. All right, okay, so now grab your tapestry needle. Okay, find the end of your yarn there. What we're going to do now is weave this yarn back and forth down the bow, down the middle of the bow, because what we want to do is um, scrunch it in the middle slightly, okay? So go ahead and pass your yarn through. Okay, make sure you're in the middle of that bow. Then back through. Okay, and then you can scratch. 
scrunch it slightly. Maybe not too much, but. And then wrap it around your bow as many. Let's see if I can scrunch it a little bit more so it matches the other one better. Okay, and you can wrap it around as much as you want to. I want mine to match this bow here, so I've already done too much. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're going to attach it to the shoe. So in the back, you want this yarn to be secure, okay? So what you're gonna do is just pass it through underneath like that. Yeah, I had way too much yarn there. Okay, and then this one we're gonna pass through to the bottom here. So I'm going to grab another ne tapestry needle. And then you're just going to pass this one through to this end. Okay, and then, okay. This is the side that will be against the shoe. So you're going to, we're going to find our center here. We're going to attach it to those two stitches. So pass this side through, that stitch, and this side through here. We can actually trim this one. Okay, I'm going to Trim this yarn here. Okay, so these two pieces of yarn have been um, uh, sewn through to, through the shoe. So go ahead and take the yarn and just tie it off. Okay, so your bow will be right there on the end of your shoe. And then there you have it. You just have to weave in your ends now. And so my dress is going to be, or the dress is, the pattern is for sizes zero three months and three six months. We just made the zero three month shoes. So, um, the written, written pattern that I will link to below will also have the pattern for the three six months. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, um, and go check out. I have lots of other cute written patterns on my website and some more tutorials on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and check those out. All right, thank you.